Hi, so today I'm with Lou. Lou is, as I know her, was a little green shed and then we discovered that Lou had an amazing retreat called Sisterhood. Yes, mm. so that's where we are today. We're at Forest and, the, and it's been an amazing weekend. Yeah. So tell me, how did you decide to launch Sisterhood? Where did it come from, the idea? So um, I work as a freelancer and I spend all my time at home um, working on my dining room table. And I started to feel that, you know, that, that November blues and you know, thinking, oh, I just want to connect with the women that I have met through social media. I messaged a few of my favourite bloggers and, and Instagrammers and said, hey, do you fancy getting together and yeah. spending a weekend doing a bit of craft and things. So then in May 2015, we had our first sisterhood because I felt it was good for women to actually connect. Yeah, but I can completely vouch for all of that, mm. having been to your second sisterhood, yes. which was at Mount Rathbun. Yes, in May this year was the second retreat. And um, I think it was better than the first one because obviously we had a lot of well, I was experience. There. Yeah, yeah, well, you were there. Yeah. <laughs> so um, it it's just flourished. Um, I think the second one allowed more women in to the group, and um, it seems to be spreading. Words getting around, and more and more women are feeling the benefit from it. And. Mm -hmm. Um, not only going away with new skills, but new um, friendships and feeling more confident with themselves that they can actually uh, just feel better about themselves. It's a, it's a real sort of life-affirming, bonding sure. experience. I'd, I'd mm. say um, definitely things have changed for me and I've met so many new people and mm. it's been brilliant. It's winter and summer, now we're doing it. And I'd like it to be sort of around the solstice and it's very much about the seasons. So summer is very much outside, um, beaches, swimming, um, activities that you might want to do outside, fire, um, and craft and cooking as yeah, well. This location here is just perfect for the winter. Forest. Right? Forest is just the spiritual home of sisterhood. It's everything that sisterhood stands for. Well, forest, we have had the land for maybe 12, 13 years and um, just trying to give it back some good energy. Yeah, because it's been laying dormant for about 40 years, so. Nothing here at all before you got here? Just... No, somebody lived in the, in the house for a little while, but it was just falling apart. When did Lou approach you about having sisterhood? She did the sisterhood in Devon. The first Devon, one. The first one was in yeah. Devon. And um, and I said, I, by you know one of her Instagrams, I said, oh, why don't you come and do one at Forest? That planted a seed, I suppose. And then I think because that was a really a success, then yeah. she thought, well, well, why not do a winter one as well? Which I think has been great. So how do you how do you do it all on your own? It's just such a, a amazing an amazing feat. Um, it, I have a brilliant team. I have um, Hannah. Boulevant, who is an extraordinary stylist and has a really, really great vision. So um, I let her run with what she wants to do, really. Um, so she styles the evening meals, the feasts, yeah. um, alongside florist Erin Trezise Wallace. And the two of them, they just work brilliant together. Together, it's like they've been working together for years. I've been involved right from the beginning because Lou and I have been blog friends for a really, really long time. And so she invited me to come along, and I was like, "Do you want any help styling it?" And she was like, "Sure." And then it's sort of the first one was probably the most informal and relaxed. Still, quite a lot of planning and excitement around it, but successive sisterhood meetings, retreats, suppers, and things. I suppose we've be, really flexed our creative muscles. For this winter feast, we did um, the final feast. It was all very much turquoise and oranges with peach flowers and little berries. We wanted it to look very winter, but not Christmas mm. and not autumn. So it was a very fine line, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Ultimately, we want to create a really magical experience for people. And this is all about community and gathering. Yeah. Um, and it's not often that you gather with this many people. In, in a setting like this with this many women yeah. um, and we want people to feel really sort of honoured I suppose it's like a way of us honouring this gathering and honouring yeah. women and making hopefully it feel really special for them. We're both very in tune of the look that we that we want um, so we prefer to use seasonal products 
within our styling and our floral arrangements and so that could be just going and find some berries or some dried grass seed heads and things so it's very natural one of the ways that we try and encourage that community feel I suppose is that we always invite everybody if, if they would like to to make a crown that they can wear for the that's sort of become a bit of a sisterhood thing <coughs> and here's Ali's and it's very beautiful I made earlier. <laughs> Um, or and everyone's made a wreath and a cracker. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, so this so so the idea being that they feel like they can bring their yeah, wreaths and yeah. crackers and use it to decorate as well. We want people to feel inspired and enabled. Like everyone, you know, making wreaths and laying a pretty play setting isn't you know it's they're really simple things to do. And um, people, past sisters and past attendees have said, oh, I really feel able and I go, I, I can go home and do this stuff in my own with my own friends and my own family. The sisters have carried on, you know, supporting each other on a, like a private Facebook group. Um, you're really good at that. You're really good at gathering <laughs> people in. And and uh, we're going to have another situation in the summer? Yes, so summer will be very much um, open to the weather. And hopefully we'll have beautiful weather like we've had this weekend. Yeah, it's been very lovely. Um, so it will be based on the garden, the forest is very much a glamping site, so there'll be the geodesic domes that people can rent out, the Kroglos, which is the barn conversions, and the cattle cabins as well, and it'll be a much bigger event, so there'll be... And the sauna. And the sauna, and there'll be wild swimming in the river, right. yoga workshop, you've got mindfulness, talking, loom making and ceramics. And a whole so, lot of campfire action. Lots of campfire and the pub. <laughs> And beautiful food. Yeah. So yes. Yeah. Can't wait. I'm I know. Really looking forward to it. Exciting. So thanks. Had a really lovely weekend. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. It's been really lovely. Thank you. Thank Happy you. Me. Pleasure. <laughs>